Good morning, Cathedral of Faith. Good morning. Can we all stand to our feet? We are going to begin to worship the Lord together. There's a scripture that says, I was glad when they said, let us come into the house of the Lord. We have been invited into the presence of God this morning, and we're so excited. Today we have our friend, but also Grammy Award Take Six, friend Christian Dentley, who's going to be leading us in worship this morning. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Jess of Choir will be joining us in worship today, Woo! along with many things else that they're going to be doing. But as we join into worship, would you lift your hands wherever you're at in this moment? Father, we thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness. And God, we have come to meet with you. So God, we pray that you would invade this place. We honor you, we bless you, and we celebrate you. In the name of Jesus and all of God's people said, amen. amen. Come on, let's worship. Put your hands together. Hallelujah. How many of you are happy to be in the house of the Lord this morning? How many of you are excited about being in the house of the Lord this morning? Come on, lift up a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Clap those hands. Come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We worship the God who was. We worship the God who is. We worship the God who is.
night is falling, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. Yeah. When faith is lost and my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. Let's sing it. When my mind says I'm not good. So 
life on you, Jesus. You know, there are so many things throughout this week that scream out to you, pick me, pick me, build your life on your career, build your life on your education, build it on your looks, on your finances, on your health. But this is a moment when we come to worship that we sort of recenter and say, no, my life is not built on all those things. They're all screaming for my attention, but it's built strongly and firmly on Jesus. Amen. Let's give him thanks and praise. Thank you, God. And so when we come together today, Jesus wants to overflow you with his grace, his amazing grace, because it's all about that grace, the grace that he has for us. And there's a passage of scripture in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, that says this, God is able, he is able to make all grace abound toward you. That's what he's able to do. Now, almost every New Testament book starts and ends with these words, grace to you. And it's not talking about the theological concept of grace by salvation. It's talking about the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit in you right now. May there be that work of the Spirit in you in this moment in the presence of Jesus. He's got enough grace for you. He has grace for every workplace. It's got a safe way grace and a good Samaritan grace and work for the government grace and whatever grace you need. He's got grace for that workplace. He has grace for whatever situation you're in. Grace to graduate, grace to raise kids, grace to have teenagers, grace to be single. He has grace for all those and he wants to give you that grace in this moment. And so as we prepare for Holy Communion, it's a moment to say, Lord, I recognize I need your grace. I need you to work in me. And so, Lord, we ask that in these next moments, you know every story in this room, hundreds of stories. Some need grace for healing. Some need grace for strength, for wisdom, for open doors, for breakthrough, for wounded hearts. Lord, I pray that right now as we focus on you, your broken body, you went to the cross to do everything that was needed for our sin, for our sickness, for our circumstances. You did it all for us, and we thank you. And so in this moment of worship, we recenter ourselves. Say, God, forgive us for the places where we started to put too much focus and attention besides you. We come to you in this moment, Lord Jesus. We will build our lives on you. You are the firm foundation. So Lord, thank you that by your stripes we are healed, we are set free in Jesus' name. Let's receive the broken body of Christ. It says, in the same manner, he took the cup, and when he blessed it, he gave thanks. I don't know what you're in the middle of, but here's to a God who takes us through. Here's to a God who has a hope and a future. Here's to a God whose grace is more than enough for whatever you need. Here is to a God who is here with you, ready to work in you. Let's receive now the blood of Jesus and the hope and expectation we have of all he's prepared for us. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let's just take a moment to give God thanks and praise for his faithfulness. Thank him for who he is, what he's doing now, what he's already done. We rejoice in you, Lord Jesus. We magnify your name, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, as you're being seated, turn to somebody next to you and say, Grace to you. Cathedral friends and family, it is so great to see you here this weekend. We've got some exciting things coming up, but here's what's happening. We're so glad you're here and we would love to get to know you better as well as share with you a little bit about our church community. We encourage you to take out that card on the seat back in front of you, scan the QR code, and it'll take you to a page where you can get connected, give, and find out more information about the church and how to get involved. We can't wait to get to know you better. International Sunday is coming May 21st. It's always an exciting time to celebrate the diverse culture here at Cathedral. If you'd like to get involved or are just looking for ways to serve, you can visit our kiosk in the lobby 
or email me at vvalderrama at cathedralfaith.org. We are so excited to announce that special guest Sheila Walsh is coming for Mother's Day, so mark your calendars. Sheila Walsh, an author, Bible teacher, television host, and speaker to over 6 million people worldwide, will be with us to bring you a special message on Mother's Day, May 14th. Don't forget to invite that remarkable woman in your life. Well, that's it for this week, but for more information, please check out our website, follow us on social media, and download our app for the latest and greatest of what's happening at Cathedral. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a great, great Sunday. Well, good morning, Cathedral family. It's great to be together in the house of the Lord as brothers and sisters celebrating each other, rejoicing together, and looking forward to all God has in store for us. Thanks for being here. I believe God's going to touch you in a special way today. We've already seen Christian deadly once. Christian, come back out and join me here on the platform. Let's welcome Christian to the house. We have a great opportunity coming up, a special concert. Before we go into that, tell us a little about Take Six, for those who don't know. So Take Six is a group of six guys that are just getting started. Yeah. No, just kidding. Not just getting started. Uh, the group has been in existence uh, for a long time. 10 Grammy Awards, 10 Dove Awards. Uh, to Image Awards, but the greatest award is to do this for the glory of God everywhere we go. We're excited about that. Yes, sir. And why don't you tell us a little bit about where you guys have been recently? So yesterday, we just got back. I flew here from Tbilisi, Georgia. That's not next to Atlanta. That's like, like the Republic of Georgia over there by, you know. <laughs> so we were there. We did, um, actually, it was funny. We did Poland. Then the next a couple of days later, we did Orlando, Florida. Then we went to Uzbekistan. It's crazy. But we've been all over the place sharing the love of God with, with the world, really. And here's what they're doing. They're partnering with us at Cathedral of Faith to use their talents, to use their gifts to minister, but also to benefit reaching out. Tell us a little bit about the concert. Yeah, so here's the thing. When, the, the thing about being strong is that not many people ask if you need help. Reaching out is a strong force in this community. And so what we decided to do was combine our influence with what God is doing with reaching out and do a benefit concert so that we can continue to be, make a mark that can't be erased right here in the San Jose area. And that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing this concert, to take our influence and join it with what you guys are doing. And that's what you can do. By coming to the concert, it's coming up. Where's my little flyer here? Concert's coming up on May the... 16th. 16th. Next week, Tuesday. A week from Tuesday. You can go out for a date. You can bring your family for a night out. You can bring neighbors and friends. They'll be really encouraged and blessed by the incredible level of music. But then proceeds go to reaching out to help feed people in our community. So I want to encourage you after service to make your way out to the back. There you can pick up some flyers. You can buy some tickets. And um, maybe you could um, yeah, take a yeah, selfie. Okay. Here we go. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Not mine, not mine. Cool. So you can have your turn out in the lobby after service with Christian. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your sacrifice and love. Blessings on you, buddy. We talked about grace a minute ago, and there's all kinds of grace, but one of the graces that Paul writes about also in 2 Corinthians chapter 8 is this. He says, just as you excel in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and then your love for us, see that you also excel in this grace of giving. And that's why every week we give you the opportunity to excel in the grace of giving by bringing your tithes and offerings. You can do that by going to our app. You can go online. You can text the number on the screen. Those of you watching at home, it's great to have you with us. Write out a check and mail it or drop it off. There's so many ways. The ushers are in the aisles with envelopes. This is a way to excel in the grace of giving because we know as we give, God blesses and restores and returns to us all that we offer to him. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for your faithfulness. Thank you for your incredible love for us. Thank you for the plans, the hope, the future you have for us. And thank you, Lord, that as we follow after you. You give grace, grace, and more grace. And you want us to excel in the grace of giving. So help us in this process, Lord, that as we give, you would be glorified, you would be honored, and that all these things would be done for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' name, amen. 
well, we have a special opportunity today. Tom, Rasika, come and join me here. Tom is the head of the, the choir and the orchestra from William Jessup University. We have both of them with, with us here today to minister. I just want to share with you, in the Bible, there's so many moments where singing was important. And what they're about to do is to sing truth over you. That when they came to Paul and Silas in prison, the way they were set free was through the singing. When the military went out to fight, the Judah sang and they won. Singing is so vital. So I hope as they sing over you, you'll receive the truth, you'll be set free, and God will bless you. Thanks for being here. It's so great to have you with us today. Thanks. My name is Tom Rasika. I serve at William Jessup University. We are the university choir and orchestra. We've been on the road for a week. And did you know that you are a partner church of William Jessup University? Some of you do, yep. So what that means is the church lovingly, generously gives to the university to equip these transformational leaders for the glory of God. That's our mission statement and you give for their scholarships. Uh, let me show you your impact. If you receive a scholarship from the development fund, if you receive a, a Jessup scholarship, raise your hand, please. There you go, look. 
That's you guys. That's you. Thank you so, so much. Well, I hope this morning is a worship experience. I hope that you uh, walk away being ministered to, prayed over. over. Uh, most of our songs is straight out of the word, as Pastor said. And I hope that uh, you get a sense of what the future is, because this is the future, and there is nothing to worry about. Don't worry. These guys are going to be in charge. That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So let me introduce a couple of these guys. This is Jaden, and he, ma he makes me do this every time. A Santini. He makes me do this when I introduce him. I don't, I don't know why, but Jaden is a music major. You're a junior. You are from the Roseville area. By the way, Jessup University is from Rockland, which is just a little bit uh, east, about 25 miles from Sacramento. Uh, you're from that hometown. And this is Haley Borjas, a business major, also a junior from Elk Grove. And they're going to tell this story. It's called Behold Our God.
Well, I want to change directions a little bit. Uh, this is Hannah Milam. She was playing the cello. Now she's going to sing at you. And uh, you'd never know it, but she has got the richest gospel voice. We put her on this solo, I think it was in Grass Valley. And I said, man, I got to hear you again and again and again. So here you are. This is Going Up Yonder. <laughs>
have about 20 more songs, so. <laughs> oh gosh, you know, there is somebody up here that you probably recognize. Her name is Alyssa Flores. Yep. Yes. You love her almost as much as we love her. She just graduated. She has a Bachelor of Arts in Digital Communication and Design. She did a stint in New York City. She has affected and impact lives all over the Jessup campus, uh, even her professors, including me. And we are so excited to see her move on and just do incredible things. You know, what I said in the first service, I really meant. It seems like every uh, opportunity, every time we have asked Alyssa to serve, she gets up and she just, she hits a home run every single time. I don't know how she does it, but you guys have done well. Thank you, Mom and Dad. Well, we have time for one more, and she is going to lead this. She recorded this at Sony Picture Studios with us back in October. And uh, I think we have uh, some of our uh, merchandise, our CDs and things in the lobby. If you want to uh, come and visit Eliana, she's right below Alyssa. And this is called I Am. <laughs>
You know, every time there is a revelation of the I am in Scripture, it's always because someone was going through something. You don't know that he's, I am your healer until you're sick. You don't know that I am your provider until you really need provision. And I just want to pray that over us in this moment. If there's any place in your life where you need provision or healing or blessing or breakthrough or wisdom or direction or peace, I'm going to invite you to stand right now because I want to pray those words over you, that God would come and meet with you. Here's what the enemy does. He puts in lies on the head. What if? What if this doesn't happen? What if that doesn't take place? What if you never get this? What if that always happens? But every what if is replaced with an I am. I am your healer. I am your strength. And Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus, we just ask for each one of these who are standing. You know their story. You know their struggle. You know their need. You know their request even better than they do. So come right now by your spirit's power and put within them a hope, an anticipation. Put in them a longing that you have heard their cry. You know them, you are with them. You've not rejected them, you've chosen them and you will uphold them with your righteous right hand. And I pray Lord for healing right now in the name of Jesus, for wisdom in the name of Jesus, for peace in the name of Jesus, for breakthrough, for comebacks, for grace, for mercy, for forgiveness, all that's needed right now, we come before you and we receive because you are the I am that I am and we can trust you. We can trust you. And so Lord, in this moment, you brought us here today for this group to sing over us the truths of scripture, to sing over us the understanding of your purposes for us. And so Lord, let that go deep in each of our hearts and spirits. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Let's give God thanks and praise. I'm going to have them, go ahead and stay standing. I'm going to have them just sing over us right now a song to increase our faith, to help us anticipate what Jesus is going to do. Let's enter in as they lead us before the Lord.
Again, one more time, let's say thanks to Tom Rusica, the orchestra, the band, uh, You know, some of these young people have just graduated from college and they're on their way out to figure out what's next. Some of them are in college and they don't have a clue what's next. <laughs> I'm going to ask you just to reach your hands toward them. We want to pray for them. We want to thank them for blessing us today, but we want to bless them. Lord, thank you for the willingness of these young women and young men to serve you, to follow you, to hear your voice for the call that you have on them, whether it's the business or education or arts or education or media, whether it's to government or to the church or to the family, whatever that calling is, Lord, they're all in this mode of searching and seeking after you. And thank you that your scripture says clearly that we can seek on you, seek for you and you will be found. And you will, when we call on you, you will be near. Let them hear your voice, know your heart, make clear to them the plans that you have, the hope and the future you've designed for them. Thank you for what they've declared over us today. Thank you for what they've sang over us in anticipation and joy. And I just pray that that joy would fill them, that the I am would meet their every need, their provision, the jobs they need, their struggles that they're facing, the family situations they're heading back into, the relationships they're trying to figure out. Lord, let them know that you are the one who loves them and is with them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Let's give God thanks and praise. Just a, couple things before, just a couple things before you go. As you know, take six. Christian will be out there in the four. You were in fact, there you go. There's also a discount code. If you stop by there, you can get ch cheaper tickets. Uh, although if you pay the full price, you're just blessing reaching out. But drop by there, pick up some flyers. Our single adult conference is coming up. Also, William Jessup has material out there, all kinds of recordings that you can pick up and take with you. And if you need prayer after service, our prayer team will be here at the front to pray with you and to pray for you. Let me speak God's blessing on you. Lord Jesus, thank you for lifting our hearts and spirits today. Thank you for the truths that were sung over us. Let them go in our hearts and spirits. Let us go forth rejoicing with hope and anticipation. Lord, bless your people. Keep them. Cause your face to shine upon them and give them your peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a great week in the Lord.